basically I've taken 10 years in, in bringing out all sports and, and bringing it to have the advantage taken away. Meaning that basically an able-bodied person has all the fruits and, and the labours of, of sport where disabled are pushed to the side, as to say. Really, me being me, I like causing pain and I like seeing pain, so that guy's disabled and he's doing MMA. Well, let's go have a look at him. I've been involved in boxing now for about 20 years. I've been involved in promoting about five years. Me personally, I'm more for, I want to see the, the amputees, that's all I want to see. Because I see boxing all the time, I see the disabled people. It was one person in particular that basically made me get off my backside and do something when you're a quadruple amputee and you're doing a cage fight against an upstanding person. Yeah, when I was younger I did uh, kickboxing, uh, judo, uh, kung fu. Okay, and you had an accident and, you know, in a wheelchair. Have you got that urge to, to do it again? When I was diagnosed with going blind, unfortunately it makes a turn in your life because I was a uh, semi-professional rugby win, league player. If, if people have stepped away from me, it's because basically they've listened to one side of the conversation. Nobody's spoken to me or even asked me a question. Nothing too strenuous, yeah? Just focus on what we're doing with the chair and then everything else will fall into place, all right? But nothing too hard. I'm not going to. I'm not to. Due to a car crash which severed my spinal cord and been disabled since I was three. You don't lose your upper body strength from when you were an able bodied person. I see life is a big game that I can't lose. When I was uh, had cataracts, I had it was like frosted glass. Now when they took that out, they slit it. If, if it was left to the, the voice piece of the people in wheelchairs themselves, they will promote it. They themselves want it. I was uh, born with a condition called neurofibromatosis. Uh, I spent 21 years trying to uh, save my leg. I'm just looking forward to uh, finding uh, someone with a similar disability to have a fight with. Well, whether it's someone with a similar disability or a, an elderly body person, I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly bothered. I mean, each person is held accountable for their own action. And you can't expect, I mean, most of these guys that get in the ring and they're, they're able bodied or, or play for professional sport. Any, any professional sport is down to that person. They're training for people with two legs and um, obviously have one leg, so or one and a half, we'll say. There is fighters out there that are fighting able-bodied people who have got missing limbs. Yeah, Matt Betts sold his champion at the moment in America. The world of fighting and, and brutality and, and competition in mixed martial arts is not that far disassociated from the world of disability as some people might think. There's a lot of disability people out there with that pent up aggression and that mentality urge to fight just as much as the next physically competent fighter. 